Hey guys, Tom here with Auto Avenues. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at the E46 rear subframe reinforcement kits. Uh, the kit that I have is from Bimor World. And we're going to do two things. First, we're going to check to make sure that we don't have any tears in our uh, subframe. And if we don't have any tears in our subframe, we're going to go in and epoxy in uh, some subframe reinforcements. And uh, let's get right to it. We're going to go to the bench and take a look at the kit. Thanks. All right, guys, here we have our Bimmer World E46 rear subframe reinforcement kit. This kit comes complete with everything that uh, we need to go ahead and reinforce the rear subframe. All the reinforcement plates that we're going to need. All in one little handy dandy kit from Bimmer World. I'll go ahead and provide a link in the description below so you can go ahead and order yours. Uh, Bimmer World's not the only option out there, there's many other options, but uh, this is a good one. So after doing probably what is way too much research online and uh, in the forums, I've come to find out that the uh, 3M8115 is uh, one of the better choices for uh, epoxying these plates in. Uh, epoxy has a couple advantages over welding. Welding only uh, goes around the edges of the plates and uh, it's prone to getting some rust and uh, letting some material in back behind there and you only get adhesion uh, where the weld is. I know the rosettes provide a lot of the strength, but when you look at the epoxy, you get adhesion at 100% of the plate. Uh, now the epoxy's got to stay really thin uh, to get the proper adhesion, but uh, with proper installation, and we'll go over that during the installation, uh, epoxy seems to be a winning favor with most enthusiasts right now. All right, so hopefully you already have your uh, differential and rear subframe or rear subframe housing carrier removed. Uh, if you haven't done that, uh, I'll link another video where I explain the easiest way to do that. Um, hopefully you have your car securely up on four jack stands or a lift if you have a lift. Um, we'll pop underneath the car and see what our uh, subframe joints look like. Alright, now that we're down underneath the car, uh, here's a couple of places that we want to look for issues. If we look right in here, this is one of the main mounting bolts. We want to look for any kind of tears or scoring anywhere around this area all the way out to here and around here. This is where one of the plates is going to go. Another place we want to look for, it's not very likely, but we could get some tearing in here. These are the front mounts. Go ahead and look here on the passenger side. And it looks like everything looks really, really clean. Everything looks really clean here. So it looks like I'm in good shape. Let's flip around over here and look at the back one, the rear ones. And here are the rear ones. And the areas that we want to look for around here, up in here. And it looks like I'm getting really lucky and this car looks to be in really good shape. Yes, yeah, so we got no tearing here. Look over here on the passenger side, and the same thing. Look for any kind of tears up in here, up in here, up in here. Looks like we're doing pretty well. All right, since we look good, now the next step is going to be come in here and uh, prepare the surface. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this bolt out and get my grinder, and we're going to want to remove all the metal all the way around here. I'll bring the plates down here and, and mock them up and we're going to want to remove all the paint, not all the metal, all the paint, all the surface covering uh, to expose bare metal uh, so we can get the plate to adhere straight to bare metal. Once we're done with that, we're going to epoxy the plates in, let them set for at least 24 hours, come back in here, make sure everything looks really clean, and then we'll uh, undercoat it, paint, prime it, and undercoat it to protect it. So next step, we'll go grab the grinder and uh, prepare the surface. All right, with a little bit of work with the grinder, we'll remove the uh, the paint coating and expose bare metal, and then we can go ahead and mock up like we did here, mock up our plate. And I don't know if we can see on the camera, but right about here, I need to go back and uh, grind a little bit more. So I'm gonna pull this plate off, grind a little bit more. And then come back and mock up all my plates. And uh, looks like we'll be time to put some epoxy on.
All right, now that we got the plates uh, all ready to go into the car, all the surface prep done on the bottom of the car, all the metal exposed, we're ready to come up here and uh, put some epoxy on the workbench here. Uh, one of the best tips that I saw was to get your epoxy nice and warm. If it's in the wintertime, some people put it in some uh, near boiling water. Uh, it's the end of summer here, so I'm going to set it out in the sun for about 30 minutes, get it all nice and warm. It tends to mix a lot better that way. Uh, then I'll load it in the mixing handle here. It just looks like a caulk gun handle, but it's uh, specialized for the 3M product. I'll also link that down below in the description so you guys can buy that if you need it. Uh, but let's let our epoxy warm up and then we'll start putting some on the plate and install it on the car. All right, once we've got the epoxy all warmed up and put into our gun here, go ahead and let it go down the mixing tube. Squirt it down and start applying it to our reinforcement plate. Now you want to take your time with this. I'm going to have to put the camera down here because doing it one hand is not going to really work. But you get the idea. Alright, now that we've got a good coating applied, we're going to go ahead and just smear this in. What we want is a nice even coat over the entire we're going to go ahead and pause so I can use two hands here and uh, we'll turn it back on when it's all all evened out all right as you can see unlike welding we're going to get adhesion at 100% well slightly less than 100% because I didn't go right up to the bolt hole here but about 99 maybe 95% contact adhesion where with a weld would only get adhesion around the edges where the weld can contact the body so what we want to do is we want to smear this out so we have about I don't know somewhere between eight and ten thousandths uh, thickness which the material will automatically try to level itself to about that height so don't try to measure it uh, but we'll get a nice even coat all over this and we're going to slide under the car bolt it up support it so it has full contact and let her go all right back under the car here you can see that we've gone ahead and put the plate up uh, as I set it on the metal I move around just a little bit so I get coverage of epoxy on all the subframe material and on the plate itself uh, and I just run the bolt up that's provided in the kit and I run that up and it tightens the plate up against the body make sure that I'm getting full contact everywhere and I am as you can see some of the epoxies worked its way out through what is the rosette hole so we're gonna get full rosette coverage too here and here and uh, we let this sit for a minimum of 24 hours and we'll come back and this thing should be rock solid and a lot better than a weld um, go ahead and let's uh, install all the others and uh, we'll come back and show you what the final product looks like all right we're back into the car here i brought a light this time maybe that'll help things out but we've got all of the uh, reinforcement plates installed now here's the rear driver side if you're in america i guess it's the passenger side if you're in europe or uh, england i guess um and our passenger side right hand side and as you can tell we got good coverage and then if we look at the front ones, they're installed and they all look good. And there you have it. So in 24 hours, these guys will be ready. Uh, we'll go back and put some uh, primer on it and some undercoating on it and these guys will be good to go and there's the E46 rear subframe reinforcement kit all right we got all the uh, subframe reinforcement plates in the car they're uh, drying curing right now they take about 24 hours to cure uh, I wanted to take this time to thank you guys for tuning in also to remind you to always wear safety glasses uh, I happen to be wearing mine when I was putting the epoxy in. I got a little bit of epoxy right here. Thankfully, I was wearing my safety glasses, kept everything off my face. Uh, also, when grinding, there's a lot of metal, metal particles flying around, so you definitely want to have your safety glasses on. 
In case you're wondering what I use to uh, grind away the material in the bottom of the car, I have a 20 volt uh, DeWalt grinder uh, right here. Uh, let's see, I use the uh, metal etching grinding wheel. It does a real nice job. It took uh, all the material off and it did a, did a great job. Um, I'm just going to let those uh, plates cure up and then I'm going to go back and spray some undercoating on them. But I'm going to probably end the video right here. I just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in, supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please uh, go ahead and click a uh, thumbs up. If you uh, like more content like this, please subscribe as we're going to be doing a lot more videos. Uh, and thanks again for tuning in. See you guys.